Okay, big camping trip this weekend, so I'm making my list of equipment. Don't want to forget anything. So let's see, what have I got here? Tent, sure, of course. Sleeping bag, gotta have that. Camping stove, gotta be able to warm up and make some food. Oh, I should think about the weather. I should take my raincoat, definitely. Maybe a pair of boots so my feet don't get wet. Let's see, what else am I forgetting? Hey, Mike. Yeah? Don't forget your umbrella. Oh, my umbrella. Don't worry, my friend. I've got it right here. There we go. I got my umbrella, so that's all taken care of. In fact, it looks like it might rain. Do I hear thunder? Oh my gosh, look, the rain's already coming down. Oh, this is terrible. Well, I gotta get to it, get my stuff ready. We'll see you in the article, guys. Mm -hmm. Peter and Maggie are watching the weather report. Oh no, I missed it. What's the weather like today? It's hot and humid, and the high temperature is 35 degrees Celsius. Thanks. Hey look, they're showing the weather for the rest of the week. That's not good. There's a typhoon at sea, and it's coming our way. All right, everyone, it is part B of our look at the weather. So today, we're going to be looking not so much about the weather and chatting about it. We're going to be watching things to get weather information. That's right, the weather also makes up a big part of the news every day, doesn't it? They tell you about the important events, they might tell you about the sports, and then, of course, they'll have a few minutes where they talk about the weather. We call that a weather report. You can get them on the television, you can hear them on the radio, and of course, you can find them online. And they'll tell you what the weather will be like in your area for maybe the next day or two. So it says Peter and Maggie are watching the weather report. It's a good idea because you never know when it might rain and you don't want to go out with the wrong clothes on, for example. Well, Peter begins, he says, oh no, I missed it. What's the weather like today? Ah, so he actually didn't see the weather report. Maybe he was, I don't know, in the bathroom or something. And so Maggie, she tells him, she saw the report. She can give him the news. She says, it's hot and humid, and the high temperature is 35 degrees Celsius. Hmm, hot, humid, 35 degrees Celsius. Yeah, okay, that's Taipei or Taiwan any time between like June and September, basically. Hot, humid, and the temperature will be high up at 35 degrees. Yeah, that sounds like a summer day in Taiwan. When things are high, they're at a, a bigger level, I guess you could say. The opposite would be low. We often use this when talking about numbers, okay? One million is a very big or a high number for uh, people who are doing something. 10 would be a very low number. When we talk about the temperature, of course, 35, 40 degrees would be a very high temperature. And something down around 5 or 0 or even below 0 is a very low temperature. So on a range, on a scale, high is towards the top end, the biggest numbers. Low is at the bottom end, the smallest numbers from what you would expect. Well, Peter is glad to know that the weather report, or glad to hear the weather report, he says, thanks, thanks for telling me. And then he's also noticing something on the television. He says, hey, look, they're showing the weather for the rest of the week. Ah, okay, they might call this the, the five-day forecast or the seven-day forecast. And they'll often have a little symbol, right? A little sunny thing or a gray rain cloud or a rain cloud with blue drops kind of showing you that, you know, as the week goes by, the weather will change and this white might be what it's like next week or on the weekend. It shows you the weather coming up in the next couple of days. When you show something to someone, you make it easy for them to see. You make it easy for them to get the information. If I'm showing you something that I bought, well, maybe I'm excited about it. I'm like, here, look. I want you to look at it, maybe even possibly touch it, but certainly pay attention to it and give, you know, get information from it. Of course, in your school, teachers will show you lots of things. They might show you things on the whiteboard or using a computer. They're putting it there. They're making it easy for you to see it and learn from it. 
And he wants, he's glad to know what the weather for the rest of the week. When we talk about the rest of something, notice here it's not the verb, we're not resting and relaxing and taking it easy. No, here when we use it as a noun, the rest of something, we're talking about what remains, okay? So if we're uh, in the middle of a Wednesday, well there's four more days for the, into the rest of the week. There's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, so when we talk about the rest, it's what's left over. Something's been used, something has already passed or gone by, but this is what remains. If you're really full, you might not eat the rest of your food. Oh, that was a big sandwich. Do you want the rest? There's another little piece I'm not going to have in my full, complete sandwich. Back to the uh, dialogue. That's not good. There's a typhoon at sea, says Maggie, and it's coming our way. Oh, so she's noticed something uh, in the weather for the rest of the week, a big storm. Maybe Thursday, Friday, there's those gray clouds with rain or even a yellow lightning bolt. There's a big storm coming, and of course, if you're out on the water or at sea, this could be quite dangerous, so we're going to learn more about that after our break. It's not a typhoon yet, it's just a tropical storm, so I'm not worried. However, I am, because I don't like typhoons, and they're strong winds. It's still early, so let's check the weather again later. Good idea. Alright, so as we get back to our dialogue, Peter and Maggie are still looking at the weather report. Of course, they were happy to see that the next few days will be nice, but then at the end of the week they noticed that there's going to be a lot of rain. It could just be a rainstorm, maybe a thunderstorm, or possibly something even more serious. And if you're definitely thinking of doing something uh, outside in a couple of days at the end of the week, when the storm comes, you want to learn about it because you might want to think about changing your plan. So they're getting more information now from the weather report. As we get back to it, Peter says, it's not a typhoon yet. Ah, okay, maybe by the wind speed or by the size of it, the rain that they're expecting. It's not quite a typhoon, which is a big, serious storm. It's just a tropical storm, so I'm not worried. Mm, okay, well a tropical storm can still bring quite a lot of rain and wind and stuff, but you're right, it's not as big or as powerful or maybe as dangerous as a typhoon. But as we look at Maggie, she's got some different ideas. She's thinking about this in a different way. She says, however, I am because I don't like typhoons and their strong winds. So Peter might be kind of saying, ah, it's not a typhoon, it won't be that bad, I'm not worried. Well, Maggie is a little bit worried because maybe this powerful storm will, will scare her a little bit because these storms can have strong winds and bring lots of rain. What is a storm? A storm is basically a big, bad weather event. Strange things are happening in the atmosphere, high pressure, low pressure, cold fronts, rain moving in. But basically when we think of storm, we think of gray clouds, we think of rain, maybe a lot of snow if it's the winter time, a lot of rain in the summertime here, and it's coming down a lot. You will definitely get wet, there will definitely be wind, you definitely don't want to be outside in a storm because it means the weather is really bad and there's probably lots of water, snow, rain falling from the sky. And if it's a strong storm or a powerful storm, yeah, we're basically meaning it has a lot of energy, it can do a lot of damage, the winds will be very fast and powerful, the rain will be very heavy and come in large amounts. So it's a big, scary, powerful, or strong storm. Back to Peter, he says, it's still early, so let's check the weather again later. Remember, this was, I think, the seven-day forecast, so this is probably coming in a few more days, so he's like, well, things could change. It's true. If you look at the weather on Monday and it says on Friday it will be rainy, well, that's still five days away. It's a bit of a guess with some science involved, but you want to check maybe on Wednesday or Thursday before you really make a decision. And Maggie thinks that is a good idea. Let's wait a few days and check the weather again to see what's happening with this storm, because it is 
five or six days in the future. When you check something, this is a verb, and you're being very careful with your facts. You really want to go back. To check is to kind of go back and look at the facts, look at the information again. Why do we check things? To avoid making mistakes, to notice if something's changed, to notice if something happened that wasn't quite right, but we need it to be right. If you're like me, whenever I leave my home, I always pat my, my pockets to check my pockets. Do I have my wallet? Do I have my keys? Because I don't want to close and lock the door without having those things. So to avoid making mistakes, like leaving your phone or your money at home, you might want to check to go back and make sure that things are correct and going okay. All right, guys, thanks for joining us. Check the weather if you got big plans coming up for the weekend, because you never know when a storm might roll in. We'll have more about this tomorrow. Until then, be well, stay safe, stay dry if it's raining, and we'll see you soon. Peter and Maggie are watching the weather report. Oh no, I missed it. What's the weather like today? It's hot and humid, and the high temperature is 35 degrees Celsius. Thanks. Hey, look, they're showing the weather for the rest of the week. That's not good. There's a typhoon at sea, and it's coming our way. It's not a typhoon yet, it's just a tropical storm, so. I'm not worried. However, I am because I don't like typhoons and their strong winds. It's still early, so let's check the weather again later. Good idea. Hello, I'm Tina. We're going to look at the key words. The hi. High 形容词指的是温度、速度、高度的高的。Most metals melt at high temperatures. 大部分金属会在高温融化。Melt 指的是动词，融化。下一个单词 show show 动词，播出、放映。它的三态是 show showed shown. The film is now showing in movie theaters across New York. 那部电影现在正在全纽约电影院上映。下一个单词 strong strong 形容词，风势强劲的。There will be strong winds in the area for the next few days. 这地区未来几天会有强风。最后一个单词 check check 动词，确认、查看。Please check all the doors and windows before you leave the house. 出门前请检查所有门窗。接着我们来看重点文法。第一个 ，the rest of 加上名词，表示剩余的、其余的什么东西。rest 在这里指的是名词，表示剩余部分。我们来看看这个句子。Do you have other plans for the rest of the day? 今天剩余的时间，你有其他安排吗？下一个文法 ，at sea 在海上。sea 是名词，海洋。我们来看看以下这个例句。The ship sank during a storm at sea. 那艘船在海上遇到暴风雨，沉船了。最后一个文法 ，come one's way， 朝某人的方向而来。way 在这里是指方向的意思。我们来看看下面这个句子 ：He saw a bus coming his way at high speed. 他看见一辆公车高速向他开过来。以上就是这一课的重点单词跟文法。我们下一课再见喽，拜拜。The Taichung Railway Station is located on the north side of Taichung City. It connects Taiwan Railway's Huatong Line with the Southlink Line. Travelers can take trains both north to Hualien and Taipei, and south to Pingtung and Kaohsiung. A large covered walkway. Has been added to the front of the station. The wave design of the roof reminds people of the nearby ocean. Stop and explore 
the Taidong Railway Station when traveling in Taidong. See you next time.